Okay, good morning. What do we do? Family math number 45. Family math number 45. Today we're going to talk about something that I, I think is called the Koch square. It's a, it's a fractal, which is a really neat geometry pattern. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so what, what you do to make these fractals is you just make different pictures one step at a time. Okay, you ready to do that? Yeah. Alright, so step one, we start out with a square. Is that a surprise? No, because it says Coke square. It's called the Coke square. So we start out with a square, and I'm, just for fun, I'm going to say each side of the square is three. Okay, so how many sides does the square have? Four. Four sides. So step one, we've got four sides. And what is the perimeter? First of all, what does perimeter mean? It's the distance around the outside of the shape. Right, and then what is the distance around the outside of the shape? It's 12. 12, okay, the perimeter is 12. Okay, and here's what we're going to do. Every step, what we're going to do is we're going to cut our sides into thirds and make a new square. So we're going to chop into thirds and make a new square on top. Chop into thirds, make a new square on the side. Chop into thirds, make a new square on the side. Chop into thirds, make a new square on the side. Sorry if the side over here isn't, isn't in view totally because we, we don't have as lo a lot of room. So when I chop into thirds and I make this new side, what are the lengths of all these sides? They're all one. They're all one. So I have something that looks like this. One, 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 one. What's your favorite number? I like three. You like three better than one? All right. So when we go all the way around, well, actually, sorry, first of all, when I go all the way around the outside here like this, how many sides does this new funny looking shape have? It's got, it has 20 sides. Okay, how did you figure that out? Well, there's five sides on one big side. There's five sides on one big side and? And there's four of the big sides. Okay, so there's 20 sides. Step this just, a little, just a little bit. Okay, there's 20 of those sides and how long is each side? One long. So what's the perimeter? If you have 20 sides and they're all one long, what's the perimeter? 20? Oh, wait. There's 20 sides. Well, the perimeter is 20. 20, right. Because you have to walk one unit 20 times, right? And then you go all the way around. So the perimeter is 20. Well, that's exciting. Okay, so now we get to some tricky stuff. Now, you ready for the next one? And I'm not going to draw this perfectly, right? But I'll give it a try. We chop all of these into thirds. Maybe I'll just draw it on the top just to show it. Just to show it. Okay, I chop all these into thirds. And I make squares on them. Now when I walk around, here's the path I take. Up Okay? Now it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to fill in this, the squares that are part of our picture. Because there's a square right here that's not part of our picture, like we walk all the way around it. And of course this square is part of our picture, and of course this square is part of our picture. Okay? Yeah. Now how long, are, well I chop these into thirds, how long is each one now? One third. One third. Each one of these sides is one third everywhere. And how many sides, new one third sides, do I have on my top picture, on the top here? Whoa, careful. Count. What's, where's the beginning side? The beginning side is here. One, two, three, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So how many sides do I have total? You have one hundred sides total. I have one hundred sides total. And how long is each side? One third. One third. So what's the new perimeter? One hundred thirds. You get. You have to do the number of sides one hundred times one third, and that's a hundred over three, which is about thirty-three point three three. Repeating, actually, right? Yeah, that's what it actually is. Back up, just back up, back up. All right, perfect. Okay. Now you ready to go to the next one? Yeah. Okay, but before we go to the next one, let's see what's happening to the number of sides each time. 
This number of sides is getting bigger. It is getting bigger. Do you see any pattern? 4, 20, 100? Well, 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 5 is 100. Okay, so it's interesting. So it looks like we're multiplying by 5 every time. So we should be able to see that somewhere in the geometry. What is happening that's causing the number of sides to multiply by 5 every time? First we started with a line. Then we started with a shape that went like this. Then we started with a... then we went to a Funny shape. Why, why is the number of sides multiplying by 5? Well, for every line, you get 5 sides. Every time, you t every time you had a line on one step, it turns into 5 sides on the next step. Okay? Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. yep. Yeah? Okay. So, when I, when I do my next step here, which is going to be really complicated, I'm going to have to go in here, and in here, and in here, and in here. This is going to be very hard to see on camera. But that's all right. It's hard to see here, too. <laughs> right? In there, in there, in there, in well, there. Like a triangle. In there, in there, in there. And what I did, and you should, if you have graph paper at home, I actually made this with a piece of graph paper so you can see it a little bit better. So you have this crazy picture here. How many sides does this have total if I went all the way around to the thing? I think it would have 500 sides. It would have 500 sides because every time we have a straight line, one side, it turns into five sides. How long is each side in this, in this next step? One ninth. One ninth. Okay, so what's the perimeter now? It's 500 ninths. 500 ninths. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, 500 ninths, we know 9 times 50 is 450, right? Yep. And we know 9 times 5 is 45. 45. So 9 times 55 is 495, right? Okay, so this is 400 and, uh, so this 55, 500 over 9 equals 45, sorry, sorry, 55 and 5 ninths. And do you know what 5 ninths is back up? As a decimal? It's 0.5. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, by a little over 13 on the next step, by 22 on the next step. So the perimeter keeps increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing by more every single time. So the perimeter keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So if I keep going forever, where do you think the perimeter is going to eventually get to? Infinite? Infinite. We're going to have a funny little shape that wiggles and wiggles and wiggles and wiggles around, but it's infinitely long. The more you go, the longer it gets. But it's going to stay inside of a, of a finite shape. I like to call this infinitely finite. Infinitely finite. So this is very interesting. And like I said, if you have graph paper at home, you can actually make this shape and color it in. And you can do as many iterations as you want. But after four iterations, it starts to get pretty hard to draw unless you have some really big graph paper. This is a cool project, and it makes a really neat fractal. And if you really want to, you can start c computing the, the, the uh, perimeters every time. So this is step one. Okay, We're talking about the perimeters, and the next step we're going to talk about the area. Ooh. Shouldn't be too hard, because we just have to add up a bunch of squares, right? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see how that goes. Probably do that tomorrow, okay? Yeah. yeah. Alright, come in, high five. Good job.